Welcome back to Chef's Platter. My name is Chef Salim. As I've been telling you about uh, different cuts of lamb, today I'm going to make it the show more interesting. I'm going to tell you about the tilapia. Most of the uh, Kenyan people know about the tilapia. Tilapia is a fresh, uh, is a freshwater fish. It can be found in both uh, freshwater fish, uh, fresh waters and uh, salt uh, water, salt waters. So today I'm going to show you uh, on how to make a grilled tilapia and also I'm going to show you on another way of making tilapia as a rollard, as a starter. It is very interesting, we're going to see how to make the tilapia as a starter. We are going to use the, 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 the wool tilapia, we mince it, then we are going to put different flavors in the tilapia to make a very beautiful rollard and I'm going to show you each and every step on how to make uh, the tilapia rollard. So I'm going to start with the marination of my tilapia. This is the minced tilapia and also this one. So I'm going to show you what next on this one. So I'm going to start with a bit of garlic to give it different flavors. I'm going to season it with a bit of salt. make it very tasty. Then I'm going to chop some coriander to put inside my minced tilapia. It's about playing around with the colors. We have to give it uh, different colors to make it appealing. So I'm going to mix it. But on this one, I'm also going to add a bit of turmeric to give it a color. Because I'm going to roll the one without the color on top. So at the center, I'm going to put this one with a bit of turmeric to give it a color. So I'm going to put a bit of turmeric to give it the yellow color. You can see the color is changing. And also I'm going to squeeze some lemon juice to give it that sour taste. Just a little bit, so that it can not be too much sour. Make sure you mix it very well. So I'm going to start with the uh, tilapia rollard. I'm also going to grill my tilapia so that I can... Um, th there's something in the kitchen we call it multitasking. As a chef, you have to multitask. You have to do uh, more than one task at a time. You have to do different things at a time. So I'm going to put my tilapia. I'm going to put a bit of uh, clarified butter to grill my tilapia. Now, as you can see, the tilapia has to be marinated for a couple of hours so that the, the marination can be absorbed inside. It can have uh, the flavor. So this one, I've, uh, I've uh, already marinated it. So I'm going to grill it. This is a fresh one without the marination. So the taste will be different. If you, if you grill your tilapia without the marination, the taste will be definitely different. So. We have, you have to, to put the marination a couple of hours so that it can be absorbed inside and also put a little bit of sea salt so that you can have that nice taste. So, as I'm grilling my tilapia, I'm going to, uh, to go on with the rollard. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spread my clean film so that I can show you on how to do it. Put one, one round of it. Then you add another one, so that you can make your roulade very firm. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the first lot on the surface here of the clean film. That's what I'm going to do. As I am watching my tilapia there, now that one is enough. I'm going to give it a shape. Make sure also you press it to make it firm when you are rolling it. That one is ready. Now the next step, I'm going to use my sushi nori, the seaweed. I'm going to put now the one with the color, the tilapia with the color on my nori so that I can have a separate, um, I can have the center can have a separate color, a different color. So now this one, I'm going to turn it. See how beautiful it is. I'm going to put this one now. We make a roll out of this. So all of these things are available in our local markets, so you can get them in our supermarkets, you can get everything locally. So I'm going to roll this one very gently, you have to make sure all the sides are even. So after rolling it, I'm going to place it at the center, then I'm going to roll it. Just place it here. And I'm going to start rolling it. I have to be gentle with it. It's a very simple task, but you have to be very careful when you are rolling it. So now we tie the sides. Make sure it is very firm. Now it is done, it is as simple as like that. But you have to be very careful and also you have to train so that you can be able to roll it very nicely. So now I'm going to check on my tilapia. I'm going to add a bit of salt and also I can add a bit of marination on it 
to make sure it is very, very tasty. So now I'm going to put it in the oven for 139 degree, uh, at 139 degrees in the oven for around uh, eight minutes to make sure the fish it is cooked. And also the roulade, I'm going to cook it differently. I'm going to steam it for around 15 minutes in the oven for 100, uh, at 130 degrees in the oven. So after the break, I'm going to explain about the sauce which goes with the, um, with the tilapia, the grilled tilapia, and a sauce which goes with the uh, tilapia roulade. The, the grilled, uh, grilled tilapia will go with the Swahili masala. It is a masala, which is a, which is a local one. I'm going to explain each and everything. And also the, uh, the tilapia roulade, I'm going to serve it with a sauce of roasted red peppers. So after the break, I'm going to explain much further on that. So I'm going to put this one in the oven. See you after the break. Welcome back to Chef's Platter. Uh, before the break, uh, I told you about the tilapia and the roulade. So now I'm going to show you on how to make the sauces. I'm going to show you on a different way to make the Swahili masala. And also I'm going to show you on a way to make the sauce of roasted red peppers. Not most of us know about the, the peppers can make a very nice sauce. But here in Fairview, Fairview Kitchens, we make different kind of sauces with our local ingredients because we have very beautiful ingredients in Kenyan market. So I'm going to explain on, uh, first on the roasted, uh, roasted red pepper sauce. Roasted red pepper sauce, we usually take a red pepper, uh, red pepper we put it in the oven for 100, uh, at 160 degrees in the oven for around 15 minutes so the pepper is very nicely roasted. Then we peel the, the, the um, we peel it, there is a silver lining on it, we peel it, uh, then we chop it and uh, we, we boil it with the cream to give that flavor of the peppers. We boil it with the cream and we season it with salt and pepper, then we strain it to get a very very creamy sauce and a fine sauce to go with the tilapia roulade. So next one I'm going to explain on the um, Swahili masala. First of all, I'm going to get my ingredients. We have the uh, assorted peppers, we have the red peppers, green peppers, and the yellow peppers, and some onions. So I'm going to chop them. I'm going to chop them so that we can make a very beautiful Swahili masala. You first cut the juliennes. We start with the red peppers and then chop them very finely. So that I get the green peppers. You have to play with the colors so that your food uh, can be appealing to your guest. So you can see now we are going to make a very beautiful Swahili masala with different colors.
Now after that, I'm going to get my white onions. There is a trick on um, why, why people start crying when they are chopping the onions. It's because they don't wash them. When you peel your onions, make sure you wash them first or you soak them in water so that you can remove uh, the, the, um, that acidity in them. So I have to cut them like this to make sure they are very fine, finely chopped. Cut everything, you don't have to have any wastage. As a chef, avoid the wastage so that you can also make profit on whatever you are making. So after this, I'm, now I'm going to start with the onions. I'm going to put a little bit of clarified butter in my pan. So that's very, very important garlic. It gives a very nice flavor to almost 80% of the dishes you are going to make. So one of the ingredients which I don't miss in my kitchen is garlic. It's very, very important. So you first fry the garlic, then you are going to add the onions, you can see the garlic, make sure it is golden brown, fry the onions, after they start sweating, now you can put the peppers. You can see how beautiful it is, making a very beautiful Swahili masala to go with the tilapia. You don't cook it too much because they are vegetables, so the next step you are going to put the coconut cream. Enough. Stir it a bit. Make sure you reduce the fire so that you can put the other spices. This is the ginger powder. Not too much, just a bit. This is the paprika to give it a little bit of uh, spiciness to be a bit hot. Now this is the cardamom. Make sure you give it different flavors. White pepper. Because mostly you need to serve white, uh, white pepper with white meat, black pepper with red meat. Now I'm going to put also a little bit of uh, curry powder. Make sure our masala is very, very nice. So, Try it a bit. Now the other thing you don't have to forget is the tomato paste. To give it also the color and to give it a very nice flavor. Just a little bit of uh, tomato paste. And also most importantly, season it with salt to have that flavor. So we put a little bit of turmeric to also give it that uh, color. It's all about playing around with colors. Your food has to be appealing, has to be very nice. 
So you let it boil a bit. So now need to fill the test to test it. Beautiful. I can tell you if you are at home and you make this kind of a meal to your relatives, your cousins, they are going to like it very much. You can see, you can see the color of the papers. They are making it, they are making it to look more and more beautiful. So as a chef, as a professional chef, you have to play around with the colors. You have to look different kind of vegetables so that you can make your food appealing. So now I've, uh, I've um, told you about the sauces. I've uh, shown you on how to make the sauces. Now after the break, I'm going to show you on how to plate and make beautiful and beautiful plates, which we make here in our Fairview kitchens, so that you can see also what you can do at home to make your plate beautiful. So see you after the, the break when I'm plating the tilapia, uh, the grilled tilapia and the tilapia rollad. See you after the break. Thank you. Welcome back to Chef's Platter. Now, as I had told you, now we have the tilapia is ready. We have our rollad is ready. Now I'm going to show you on how to plate both of them, the grilled tilapia and the rollad. So, now I'm going to cut this one so that you can see how beautiful it looks. Now you can see, this is how it looks. You can see the turmeric, the one we put turmeric and the uh, sushi nori, you can see the layers, they are separating. So now I'm going to cut it so that I can start plating it. Cut three pieces. The starter doesn't, doesn't have to be too much because um, the work of the starter is to amuse the palate, just to rinse the palate for the main course. So it has to be just a little thing. So I'm going to start uh, by plating the starter. We're going to start with the orange jelly. Then you are going to make a garden out of this. Very beautiful garden. I'm going to use uh, some carrots. So I'm going to use uh, turmeric. Make sure our plate looks more and more beautiful. Then we have a uh, Cucumber rolls. The sliced cucumbers. Then we're going to use a, a jelly of green peppers. To make sure our plate more, looks more and more beautiful. Then 
on a bit of beetroot. to place our rollers right here then I'm going also to use a bit of flowers before I put the flowers I'm going to use the sauce of roasted yellow peppers more and more beautiful it's about playing around with the colors to use the flowers now As I have been told, telling you earlier, canelari is an art. Art of preparation, cooking and presentation. This is the final part, which is also very, very important. Now our plate is ready. Bon appetit. Now also I'm going to plate the main course so that you can see these are til uh, starter, a tilapia roulade. These are tilapia grilled tilapia. So I'm also going to make my plates. I'm going to start with the beetroot. I'm going to use the red, uh, the green peppers to make sure my plate looks more and more beautiful. So the orange. Now for the tilapia, I'm also going to use a bit of salad. a green salad with peppers, mango and everything to be so making your plate more and more beautiful. So I'm going to warm my sauce a bit so that I can put it on top of the tilapia. With the tilapia. Here it goes. Very, very beautiful. So now I put my masala on top of the fish. Now you make a very, very beautiful Swahili masala with the tilapia. So, bon appetit. Now you can see the colors. You can see how you can change uh, the mentality of the people by making a roulade of tilapia. Not so many chefs will make a, a roulade of tilapia. So now we have made a roulade of tilapia. We made a grilled tilapia so that we can challenge you people at home to make also different kind of dishes for your families, for your cousins. When you have um, events, you can make very, very nice, beautiful uh, starters and main courses. Because uh, for the tilapia, you can make a very nice canopy. A canopy is a starter. A starter, we have, which I've said, it amuses your palate, it rinses your palate so that you can be ready for the main course. So, we have made the roulade of the tilapia and the grilled tilapia 
to show you, to challenge you also, that you can make each and everything of these dishes at home uh, very nicely. So, thank you so much. It was nice uh, having you. We are going to see you on another episode next week of Chess Platter when I'm preparing different kind of uh, uh, things. So, see you then. Thank you.